นโมทัสสะปะคะวะโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมพุทธัสสะนโมทัสสะปะคะวะโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมพุทธัสสะนโมทัสสะปะคะวะโตอะระหะโตสัมมาสัมพุทธัสสะมันเนี่ยมีมาลุบชูรันเนี่ยเอซาลุฟิตแบ็กนั่นเองเนี่ยทีนี้มีมาลุยอิงเลยลุยมีอะไรบิดอ่ะพี่โอ้โหที่เบื่อชูซ้ำอ่ะทีนี้เราดีมันเนี่ยเอ็ดีเน่เนปชันเลคเชอร์อัพโรชกับเขาจะได้คุยยี่บิดอ่ะกูก็สับเพะกูน่าเลยมุกูที่สาวเดินนี่มาเสียหากคุ้นจุยเด็ดอินโฟเมชันจุยเด็ดคุ้นจุยเด็ดพงษ์ทำอยู่อันมาหอบเผาเนี่ยคุ้นจุยเด็ดพงษ์ทำอยู่ส่วนเสียหน้าไม่ยากเนี่ยตัวเราเนี่ยไม่ยากเนี่ยคุ้นที่รู้ที่พงษ์ทำอยู่เนี่ยเราได้ส่วนแต่พะ老水，另外另外也老水，什么路？新疆没人家的得了，啥怕的？你阿妈的，新疆没人家得了的。Thinking, practice, 这样的得了。怕不着那个对面，对面偏怕没，怕偏对面，啥对的得了？เสียก็เพียงเรื่องของมาทำวิจารณ์เมื่อใจไอ้เราเพียงยิบยาเรื่องทารกตุ๊ดไม่ยังเนี่ยสมบัติปูดาพัฒนาเป็นยังไงได้มั้งที่ตัวเองเนี่ยเป็นพ่อหน้าไม่ยังเนี่ยพิจารณาเสียรู้เลยที่วิโรตุยาที่วิโรกูดูตุยาเลยพระเดชเสียรู้เลยที่ได้ตามมันจีเดียสุนโอเยตานเรื่องข้ามมาตัวบุบุ这单的这单嘛的第二么太不，是看不不。他为嘛嘞？哎，像瑞典、三帕比罗、三江的哎，伊在秋水、江山古太湖边，阿尼尔帕帕比罗对，那帮不老家嘛那么地。哎，像瑞典，得到记录。เวรนาเนสเตจิมาไอเซอร์โรยเดียเวรนาโกไกน์ทัวร์ปงเวนาตีขันโมลีไอยังเขาไอยังตู้อยู่เสียงเขาเวรนาโอเชื่อมโมเปย์เนี่ยมาเขาเวรนาเวรนาโอจีบีดอ่าทำวิกาญยันดีวิบัตินาญยันดีแต่ Tadi罗塞罗伊罗，塞乌木马勒贝，皮苏普勒，哎，乔马勒皮苏普勒，啊，萨蒂奈亚塞罗伊勒，大家，塞纳梅亚尼亚勒比罗，帕纳梅亚
ไอ้ลุงโลจีนเนี่ยเสียเวทนาอ่าอุณหภูมิไม่ยาวพอดีคณะกูก็เวทนาอุณหภูมิไม่ยาวทุกพุ่เลยสนิทให้ภาษาละ
Okay, we are going to follow the same practice as we did yesterday. We are going to count the paragraph, okay? Uh, from page 57, the, uh, the section, under the section, Phenomena as Impermanent and Non-Self. The first uh, paragraph is uh, uh, the first paragraph begins with though the first sermon emphasizes dukkha. That's number one. Number two is because of the fact that things are impermanent. Number three, the term anatta is near is, is Nearly always a noun. Number four, the important teaching on this was introduced by the Buddha in his second sermon. Number five, in the Buddha's day, the spiritual quest was largely seen as the search for identifying and liberating a person's true self. Page number 59. Uh, number 6 begins with the teaching on phenomena as non-self. It's not only intended to undermine the Brahmanical or Jain concepts of self, but also, as mu uh, also much more commonly held conception and deep-rooted feeling of I-ness. Number six. Number seven, the non self teaching can easily be misunderstood and misdescribed. Number seven. Number eight, why nirvana is beyond impermanence and dukkha, it is still non self. So this is. No, sorry. The non-self teaching does not deny that there is continuity of character in life. That's number eight. Number nine begins with why nirvana is beyond impermanence and dukkha. Is still non-self. That's number nine. Number ten. That said, it should be noted that why all dhammas are anatta, everything is non-self, clearly implying that there is no self. The word anatta does not, it just means uh, no self, that is, it does not just mean there is no self. I think there is, maybe, repetition, we read this again. Number 11, page uh, 61. Okay. Page 61. Why the suttas have no place for the metaphysical self? Seeing things as non-self is clearly regarded as playing a vital soteriological soteriological role. That's number 11. Number 12 says as Anatta is sometimes translated as non-self, is sometimes translated as not, no soul. But why Buddhism does not accept a soul in the sense of an Im immortal essence of pers a person? So in the sense of that which gives life to the body is not denied. This number 12. Number 13 is again, anatta does not mean egoless as it is sometimes rendered. This 13. 14. Overall, it can be said that uh, one in the changing empirical self, no permanent self can be found. 14. Fifteen, sensitivity to the above variation in self-language 
should have one avoid incoherence in presenting ideas relating to the non-self doctrine. This is 15. 16. Buddhism sees no need to postulate a permanent self and it accounts for the function of personality in life and from life to life in terms of a stream of changing condition processes. 16. Yesterday, 28 paragraphs, 28 ideas. Okay, today 16. It should be easier. <laughs> it should be easy. We shall see. Okay, we are going to read, uh, we are going to start reading just the first sentences, okay? Can you first underline all the first sentences, all the 16 of them? Just underline the uh, first sentences.
Okay, we are going to read the first sentences. Please resist the temptation to read more than that. Just the first sentence. This is uh, an important practice. When you read the first sentence, if you don't understand, you have to read it again without reading the second sentence. Read that again and think about the ask question. If you don't understand it, go to another first sentence. <coughs> in another paragraph, maybe in the previous paragraph or in the next paragraph. <coughs> Sorry. Before he read it, I should brief you. <clears throat> One thing <clears throat> that you do not have the privilege of knowing is that <clears throat> because you don't have the book in your hand, you only have a few pages. So you don't see the whole uh, structure of the book, the structure of the whole book. So I'm going to read you. <clears throat> The main contents. Number one is the Buddha and his Indian context. Number two, early Buddhist teachings, rebirth and karma. Number three, early Buddhist teachings, the four true realities for the spiritually ennobled. This is the four number truth. The third one. What we are reading is in the third chapter, this chapter, the four number truth. The first, I mean in the first chapter, the order gives the historical background of the Indian uh, religion, Indian context. Number two, the Buddha talks about rebirth and karma. Uh, sorry, the order talks about rebirth and karma. And uh, in the third chapter, the Four Noble Truth. The next chapter, the fourth, is the Sangha. There's early developments in Buddhism. It's very similar to uh, yesterday. Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha. Uh, all together, we have 13 chapters, so it's a more comprehensive book. Uh, so, the first paragraph, uh, we shall read the first sentence. Though the first sermon emphasizes dukkha, this is, in fact, only one of three related characteristics or marks of the five khandhas. What do you understand after you have read this? Please read this and think about it. Though the first sermon emphasizes dukkha, this is, in fact, only one of three related characteristics or marks of the five khandhas. Remember the way, I mean, look at the way the author uses the word, in fact. When, he, when they use in fact, that's to contradict with the earlier statement. In fact. When they use indeed, this is to support the previous statement. So he uses the word in fact here. Okay? Uh, this kind of thing, what we say <coughs> in Pali, Nipatata. The video of Pali is up in Lila Rangama. Nipatata. To ye, Debe, Mayaya, Debe Poa. Debe Poa. The Higa Pabiora, Rob, two table, the 
เสียสาบายผ่านไหลนอสาบายผ่านไหลตุสาบายก็ผ่านไหลไอ้เนี่ยผ่านไปแล้วไอ้ที่สาบายหนักกว่าได้ไปพอไอ้เสียกันเปล
ตินิยามตุอตุงปิรหาก็แฟกต์อมันเตียบแฟกต์อ่าเฟซบุ๊กแท้มาตุ้ยได้หาแท้แฟกต์เฮาจิมาเฮาบ่เนาะแฟกต
The teaching on phenomena as non-self is not only intended to undermine the Brahmanical or J concepts of self, but also much more commonly held uh, conception and deep-rooted feelings of I-ness. Please read it three times. <laughs> The teaching on phenomena as non-self is not only intended to undermine the Brahmanical or Jain concepts of self, but also much more commonly held conception and deep-rooted feelings of I-ness. Didema information ka napai chi. Tapai ka ro anata sure tiyaro ka de. Pyamna wara ne Jain wara rema shire. Taura atta. Any taura atta. Taura atta ko. Ho nyimpe wani maka ko. Nesim pawama tibiroro shimjaro. Shini de nga nga sure eswe. Ai nes. Tima tuwa ro tuwa tu tui miro tau na po. Ai nes. Sure. I fold my jam room with you. I nest. I nest. A yah yah go mass a bit of sweat. A yah go. Pebare. Number con. Go go papa. The non self teaching can easily be misunderstood and misdescribed. So it's important to see what it is saying. Tihaka Anau Nangama Anata non-self, non-social video Padabjana Niyama Ludi Nale Mu Luene Misunderstanding Misperception Eha Wu Shimya Nampakon Nampashi the non-self teaching does not deny that there is continuity of character in life and to some extent from life to life. Continuity of character. The video of Ludu Uye. Character Ludu Uye. Sarita. Sarita Ajin. Ayari. Sala video of Wari. Nganeta, Seneta, Sanganeta. Then Waze Chowza Kunza, she said to you. They out here. Continuity. Salapido. Tishi. Tiha would deny Maloba. Pajiros or Tipokuga. Did a cell star a poku at a Kauna Makauna located candy out of a town you are a poku. 
Nam Paku, why Nirvana is beyond impermanence and dukkha is still non self. Nepa and Chang. Nepa and Nata today, Chang. Nam Paku say, that said, it should be noted that why all dhammas are anatta, everything is non-self, clearly implies that there is no self. The word anatta does not except mean no self. That is, it does not except mean there is no self. Tajaro. <coughs> Sigalongu to philosophically kasalaita. Anataka. There is no self. Self machine so be do. Clearly implying there is no self. All dhammas anatta. No self of pure being made. No self so be pure amyaguri. Tamyasi lazia. Diha lego to a pasuru channel so nama to be rua. Pat. Number set it. Why the sutta? The suttas have no place for metaphysical self. Seeing things as non-self is, uh, is clearly regarded as playing a vital sociological role. Sociological role. Number 12, just as anatta is sometimes translated as no self, is sometimes translated as no soul, but why Buddhism does not accept a soul in the sense of an immoral or immortal essence of a person, so in the sense of that which gives life to the body is not denied. The presence of the flux of discriminative consciousness, vijnana, plus vitality, are you, and heat, fulfill this role. ตัดแท้ตัวเลยตัดไปแล้วรู้เพียวอะไรกันมาไอ้แท้กูจริงยามาโอ้ตามมันดูดีเพียวนะโซ่สุดๆเพียวจ้าไอ้บ่เนี่
และด้วยจาเลยอัตตานาสุริยะมิจฉาพิยาเลยอัตตาสกุลุนิยายตุนะจิตตัวเชิมจาราศีเดนิยามอัตตาหิอัตโนนาทอกุมะ Number four, in this process, awareness of all factors of personality as non-self undermines grasping, and so makes a person calmer and stronger. Number five, at the pinnacle of spiritual development, the liberated person is free of all the causes of dukkha, thus. And thus lacks any I am conceit, yet has a great empirical self. Ngā ngā sa vidyo thang loa ra haro me shi u thai me te ke tu ye lo ya de go tu te ke ta wun yu de empirical self. Thā ro po vidyo a kao. Ayin namba sa li a ro. Ajinjin Pama Yang Shimyaru. Sajin Pama. Duga, ajin, di, di matang ke, samyan na chao se lao yi thara hao tu ajin chou thara. Ajin chou thara. Ajin ngā chan ajin chou thara. Nabra yi da la pe, paragraph to ku lo ma, sentence to ku ten a yi da. Duru, nese nese, ingles a pjai na shi de ingle ma. ตอนนี้เราออสเตรเลียอังกฤษอาบามาค่ะตัวไหนกว่าเลยตัวยีเดตัวยีเดเวชชาค่ะสันเทนส์ค่ะสันเทนส์คือเดสาจองตงเซจ
changing condition ဖြစ်စဉ်တခုနေတဲ့မြင်တာကဲ့အခုအချိန်ဆန်ငါးမနေလောက်ဆန်မနေလောက်ပေးမယ်ဘာကတ်တခုတခုရဲ့အီရှ
Okay, we can discuss now <coughs> the 16 paragraphs. Uh, we're trying to find 16 uh, issues or um, you know, um, the, the, the subjects. The first one, the first paragraph, is an introduction to the three characteristics. Number two is to link between impermanence and dukkha. Number three is to, into, to um, continue further about anatta. The term anatta is nearly always a noun. That means he has already spoken about anatta in the previous sentence. Now he goes into further detail about the term anatta. See? Number three. And number four, this is to introduce the anatta lakana sutta. Anatta lakana sutta. When he, uh, when he says the uh, this was introduced by the Buddha in the second sermon. The Natalagna Sutta, that means he's going to give you uh, a summary of the Natalagna Sutta. <coughs> Number five, um, in the Buddha's day, this request was largely seen as a search for identifying and liberating a person's true self. So this is what Anatta Lagna Sutta is denying. Okay? This is what Buddhism denies. The kind of self that Buddhism denies. Number five. Number six. The teaching on phenomena as non-self is not only intended to undermine the Brahmanical and the Jain concept of self, but also much more commonly held conception and deep-rooted feelings of I-ness. Talebe, anatta teaching a nyimpe de aya. Namba nga ka lebe nyimpe de aya. Namba chao ka lebe nyimpe de aya. Namba konga anatta ko padabyane niyama luri madate Takato translation program. Translation program. Number <clears> Sheka, <throat> the non self teaching does not deny that there's continuity of character in life and to some extent from life to life. Dihajaro, another teaching a deny melodeha, menyembeda. Nana chauka, nyembeda. ไอ้ญิ้มเบเรเนี่ยมาผิดปอดัดเนี่ยเปียตนาสกะโลอะตုံးผิดเนี่ยเปียตนาแลงกวยเปียตนาอะดันนัมเบอร์ของอ่ะ
ทาวราติชิเตยาวกองเตมาพิมพ์พิมพ์แมเตเนียวพิมพ์พิมพ์แมไอ้รู้ทาวราติชิเตยาวไอ้ทาวราติชิเตยาวโหบาเวคอคอ
ဒီအနတ္တာနောင်းဆယ်ဖ်ကိုတခါနောင်းဆုံးလို့လည်းပါတာပြန်အဲ့ဒါကဆိုတော့ ปลุกกว่าจ้าได้ไอ้หามีตัวตัวอีโกเนี่ยปัตตะสุรสกะโลเนี่ยปัตตะตัวตัวจ้าแล้วอันที่ได้มาน้อมเซลฟ์นอน
Now, so sentence will be underlined a little.
Okay, now that you have gone through not just the first sentences but also the last ones, I hope you know you you have gained you know, a better understanding of what the author is trying to tell you. The first sentence in the first paragraph, the first sentence, though the first sermon emphasizes dukkha, this is in fact only one of three related characteristics or marks of the five khandhas. So he's talking, uh, he's examining khandhas in three characteristics, with three characteristics. And um, the last sentence is very long. The ephemeral and deceptive nature of khandhas is expressed in a passage which says, which says, that there are devoid and hollow uh, within bracket as I quote material form is like a lump of form and feeling is like a bubble perception is like a mirage and uh, the constructing activities are like a banana tree consciousness is like an illusion and quote So this is um, examining the five khanda with three characteristics, three related characteristics and the khanda. When you examine them, this is the way you come to have. Uh, number t- paragraph number two is because of the fact that things are impermanent that they are also dukkha. The last one, why Pali and Sanskrit do not have capital letters in English is useful to signal such a concept with a capital S. In the first paragraph, he only talks about Anicca and Dukkha. In the last one, he talks about Anatta. So we can say in the middle, in the middle sentences, he discusses another. The third paragraph, the first sentence, the term anatta is nearly always a noun. The last one, why anatta is often rendered simply as not self. This translation captures only part of its meaning as it misses out the aspect of not being anything that pertains to a self which non-self includes. Dear, dear, party yo, English yo, Lily nene, Papi do, Dream up, Shimia, Nalem, Dupa, Sulu. The she need a Kanangaba, Nabi do. Luri ho dui di dui lai dui da 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 ai ai dui di kana ngao re ma te di na te ngao re kana de ma te ai ai ha re wo de ku si de ku si piang san si ji da metaphysical self so de de ma piang ma le tu an ne tu powerful di si na ne aya entity ma si bu na ta. The important teaching on this was introduced by the Buddha in this, uh, in his second sermon, the Ananda Lakana Sutta. Moreover, as each khanda is impermanent, dukkha, and of a nature to change, is inappropriate to consider it as this is my, this I, uh, this am I, this is myself. So this is uh, the gist of the second sermon. He gives it in the in one paragraph, which is number four. Number five. Uh, in the Buddha's day, the spiritual quest was largely seen as the search for identifying, liberating a person's true self. Adikeka Yusaku Pyora Bodhakeka 
ปุ่งนาฤทธิ์ปาตาตุโรสินจีฤทธิ์เตยทานิปุคคุอิติตุโรอะลุจุสาจาตะลาสันธังปาสโบสิอุปนิชัสเฮนดูจานะมะปาอ
painful when nirvana is beyond impermanence and dukkha is to non-self. The last paragraph. Why nirvana is beyond change and suffering is has nothing in it which would support the feeling of I-ness. For this can only arise with respect to the khandhas and is not even a truly valid feeling here. อนัตตะนิพพานอนัตตะภิกขุปะโลปะจังภิกขะโรงสุนิพพานอตุ้ยจุงเนี่ยนิพพานอืมเอาญาชีเดพุกุขันธังอาบาวุจีเดคามาเ
ဒီမြို့တော့ဆွဲငင်အာကရာဗီတီမရှိတော့တဲ့နေရာတဲ့ဟုတ်ရောင်းသွားတော့ဒီတုံးပြန်ကသူလုပ်လုပ်ကုန
ตรุโกตาพี่รู้คริสไซส์ลงทีเสียนี่เนี่ยเรามาเลยบ่ผิดคริสไซส์ไม่เลยตรุโกตาเนี่ยมาตาเล่นลงกันเนี่ยเล่
ปัญหาละครับเราตุตุเบเดียวอายะวันดาลาบิโรคโรจาเนี่ยอาเซอร์เรนเนี่ยอะตุนี่เซนเซอร์เรนเนี่ยไอ้ดิเบเดียดเท
ตัวเนี่ยเดบเดเลยเสียรอดีตะโคบาเนี่ยนิมโทสระนาเลยบาโอ้สุรุราคะเสียรอคะดีโคเรกองแล้วเปตัวตะโคโลไม่มีมุต
like a lump of foam, and feeling is like a bubble. Perception is like a mirage, and the construction activities are like a banana tree lacking a core, like an onion. Consciousness is like a magician's illusion. Tuka Tidema Legnai Domago Pure First sentence. Now second sentence of Legnai Doma Pure. Tabi me edit now by my jaro. Baba Jones or Nizat Guba Pure. Nizat Guba. But Mere how Mere Lumian at illusion popia. Tinya Wipa Nadat. Tinya. I had to cure. Kanagua, Tidanchi, Mapiano, so be made. The Bureau, Sade, now Chinchi, Sunade, Nabido, Chinching a Sun and Nabido T, T, a Taidi, a Taidi, a Saudi, the second time Piano, Devon Pina, yes. Gross form of body, the Olarica. As regards the mind, say in a better day, so in order to look at your character, character that drawn in my piano will so be made. Look at your concern, moods to ideas, and a real, a mere and rude, piano day, and he did. My neck by my, say, oh, the body count like nearly by my nearly moody, say like, say little, and you can get up, you know, oh, calm down, say, do I like time you read me and tweet me? And then at now so ma he mamere and isa to Ubumari ne the Pali Dora Ma Pal Ubumari Ji. I look to a Sisinai Kajaro Saraga like night don't mana sara so naga and isa never so zero to dia sapai pa pyoma sura dini to ka pyom Tadya Sapai and not a pyomo Tadu ye Structure, do your thinking structure. You know, you go into his thinking process, his thought process, and you're trying to understand him. Why he writes this way. Number it is because of the fact that things are impermanent. Impermanent is the first program of your Tabida. Anyhow, Pian Kaut. Tine Shimiaro, the Bureau of Kupa, Pioch in Nonsero. The program for She Pine now Pine Lab, your quality is saying, She Pine at her old information. Now Pine a new information. First program for Dwaji, though the first term emphasizes Dukka, at her old information, to attack Pine Map, your Kabi. She had her out in my joke of you. This is in fact only one of the three radio characteristics or marks of the five kind of taka new information. Dijama to a lacnai do ma jizom yora. I metang into a doka jam with yoga. Di Tilo Chita deso in Ti Santa de Kure Pione. She had to buy ye head and now to buy say ye must go at the Bureau Sanja Dama Ni Ubzari or Leila Rali, the Tilo Commander Commander Sapada Niama, a day by you said, Ma Leila. Now, the second paragraph it is because of the fact that things are impermanent. Tiaga to first paragraph of your area, that's all information. All information go, all information is sad. New information uh, that they are also dukkha. And they say dukkha chitta. Because they are impermanent and in some sense painful. Moreover, they are to be seen as anatta, non-self. Um, when something is said to be anatta, dima do anatta ga na chao mai pyo, mo dukkha na chao mai pyo re. Do anatta set, chasin set. 
Uh, when something is said to be anatta, the kind of self, uh, it is seen not to be. Is clearly one that would be permanent, free from all pain, however subtle, as to be happy, self secure, and independent. That Ludeye expectation will be your subconscious mind. Ludeya the Mabjao Malena di Shime. Or secure of Jete. I look at my Satan. Secure of Jete. Long journey, long journey, cancer. I look more book down letters and power down the town, the yard to do by down the town, 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 ทำยืนเนาะเอ่อเอ่อลูเดียโรเอ็ดดิซิคิวร์ผิดเด้อฮาวดอดอดบรอกราสโลดฮาวดอดบรอกสวยมีเนี่ยสวยมีอ่าเ
So we can roughly summarize today <coughs> that the author has presented Anatta in 16 paragraph. Um, in terms of paragraph, a lot less than yesterday in terms of number. But his paragraphs are much longer than uh, the orders, the order we read yesterday. Uh, yesterday, Karen Armstrong uh, discusses Anatta from Buddhist uh, perspective and compare that with Western philosophy and Indian non-Buddhist philosophy but briefly. Uh, you can see the same approach today that the author, uh, Professor Peter Harvey, focuses on the Sutta, uses uh, the original teaching of the Buddha to discuss the teaching of Anatta. And in so doing, he also compares with the non-Buddhist Indian teaching, especially Brahmanism and Jainism. Uh, he also compared with uh, Western psychology, uh, Freudian. And one thing that we didn't have uh, that we don't have in uh, Karen Armstrong's writing uh, and we have today is the, pro the discussion of the problem of uh, interpretation, the problem of language, the limitation of language in both the Pali and English. In Pali, which kind of atta is admissible, which kind of atta is, is uh, denied. Uh, the same is true in English. When you say self, what kind of understanding uh, a native speaker would have? He examined that philologically and psychologically uh, from Buddhist point of view. So his um, contribution, a bit like the, um, uh, something special, from today is the uh, discussion of the problem related to interpretation about the word self, about the word soul, about the word ego, um, and about the word atta, those words how they are. Um, they can be misinterpreted what the Buddha actually means according to his understanding and, and uh, what the Buddha denies and doesn't deny. I hope you go through the chapter you studied, the, the fourth chapter, Dhamma, by Grant Armstrong and this one, and compare them carefully and also compare with what you already know, the original sutta in the party. So any question today? မင်္ဂလာပါဆရောဗျာတပြောတော့ခင်ဗာဝန်တာဖြစ်ပါတယ်ဒါမှာဆုံးနေနဲ့ဆရောဗျာရဲ့တင်ကြာဘူးကြာ
ဆိုလို့ရှိရင်ဒီအဒါတရားနဲ့နှတ်တာတရားရဲ့စမ်းကြည့်ပဲတပောဒီယားကနေလွတ်မြောက်တဲ့တရားဆိုတာမရှိန
ตะลอกเนี่ยได้ที่ปုံกันอยู่เนี่ยเนี่ยได้สวีดอตรัวเนี่ยนาลิไอ้ลูกเนี่ยนาแล้วถ้าอยู่ตาตาเนี่ยน
ဆင်နေစေတဲ့ဒီလိုပဲအချင်းချင်းမိခိုပြီးတော့နေနေကြတာဒါအပြီးတမှာသဘောတွေကတော့ဒီလိုပဲဘယ်တစ်ခုမှ
I want to know what I want to know is, you know, uh, the how the you know uh, the BA, MA, and BAC student in Buddhism had to write a thesis because uh, actually Buddhist uh, teachings it's uh, we in Theravada Buddhism we cannot change it, but in thesis we have to uh, develop some uh, our originality thinking. So what I want to know. Uh, why, uh, no, how we had to write uh, thesis in Buddhism. Thank you. Thank you. I think your basic um, concept is that uh, because uh, Theravada Buddhism is uh, fixed, nothing to change, and so we have nothing to develop, nothing to add anymore, so is there any reason to write uh, this is maybe this is your the basis of your question what's, what's the basis of your question can you clarify this actually not like that uh, I know uh, why we write thesis yeah, we have to uh, develop some new things but uh, uh, here also in, in the the letter that we listen today. Firstly, uh, the author mentioned about the old one. Later, he write new things. You said like that also, and we read like that too. Of course, we had to do so. Uh, in in our you know uh, like layman thesis, uh, for me, uh, we we used to do experimental research, and we uh, go and interview or something like that. Sometimes we ask questions. Sometimes uh, we we observed uh, the participants, and, but how about in here? Uh, I just want to know, just visit, because I hopefully want to do some. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to speak in general terms, uh, not just here, but also in the West, in the East and the West. Uh, doing a PhD in Buddhism okay, has uh, many approaches. You can approach this from a uh, literary point of view. That means you have to do literally criticism. You have to read many people's work, pros and cons, and trying to, uh, to find a problem, discuss how this problem is important, and then um, um, trying to um, to put forward some new understanding that you have developed as a result of your uh, your work. If you if you if you um, uh, you do if you choose anthropological approach, for example, there is one book by an American anthropologist who came to this country in the early 1960s. Spiro, M. Spiro, American uh, professor of, uh, of um, anthropology. He went and observed people in central Myanmar and also in Yeji. He observed people, you know, a few I mean, for quite some time he observed them. He observed how they went to the monasteries, what they performed, the activities, and he interviewed them. He had a set of questions that he put to um, different people. And he came up with an understanding that in Myanmar, we have two kinds of Buddhism. One is Nibbana Buddhism, the other is Gamma Buddhism. Nibbana Buddhism is people who want to achieve Nibbana and they, they direct their activity toward that. Other people, they just want to kind of better and promote their karma. So karma Buddhism and Nibbana Buddhism. This is a kind of anthropological thesis. Um, a sociological thesis uh, done in Sri Lanka that I want to tell you. <clears throat> uh, 
um, somebody want to observe the effect of karma. Uh, Professor Nandisena, he was professor at that time. At that, he did his uh, research for 35 years before he, he, he got a PhD. And he observed people, I mean, uh, uh, who, uh, uh, who, who are, you know, who are butchers, who, who slaughters animals as a professional. Uh, of course, Buddhists in Sri Lanka, they don't eat um, red meat. So they are not Buddhists. He observed non-Buddhists doing that. And uh, when they slaughter an animal, a big animal, a buffalo, and, and a cattle, a cow, like this, the animal is in pain and, and scream. And he found out that the butcher, he records a few butchers. Those people, they are always tense because they have got the impact from, the, from their profession. So it's more than sociology, but it's also psychological impact. And when they die, they scream like the animal they kill. And the attitude of those people, how they relate to their, uh, uh, their society, how they place themselves in their society, the social de- dealing, social position, that kind of thing, you know, he, he, he did uh, a good research. So that's another, it is from sociological. There are people who apply Parisata uh, Mupada teaching in, uh, again, a uh, sociological point of view. Joanna Macy from America. The world, as my, uh, the world as a lover and the world as myself. The title of her book. This was her PhD thesis. Okay? She interpreted the Buddhist Mupada as being interdependent. And applying that to sociological thought, sociological thinking. Especially to women issue, to feminism, like that. And I also have one book here, yesterday I showed you, Selfless Persons. Selfless Persons. This is a PhD, this is from Oxford University. This is about Anatta. This is about uh, literally um, examination. He examined text and he sums up Theravada Buddhist thinking of, of uh, Anatta from the Buddha to commentaries. Like that. Um, there are people who do meditation and clinical psychology. Those people, they have to do meditation themselves and they have to work with some patients using some data from the patients. Some people who do Buddhist education, yes, they go out and they collect some data. A girl uh, doing her um, master's degree at London University about Buddhism and ethical business in Myanmar. And she has a set of question devised. She presented to her supervisor. The supervisor accepted them and she came here and she uh, went through to business people observing how ethical their business dealings are. Some Buddhist universities have peace studies. This is another application. Some people have education. What is Buddhist education philosophy and how you actually do that, that sort of thing. 
so today in the world buddhism um, has diffused itself into many disciplines and throp uh, humanities sciences including medicine people use like um, mbs are mindfulness based stress reduction mbct mindfulness based cognitive therapy they have to work with patients um the last one that i i have just read this is about um meditation and uh, to telomere telomere is the the um you know the end of the end of each cell in our cell the body in our body the end of each cell is telomere how it um uh, it goes through aging process and for people who meditate what's the benefit and this one you know somebody has won a nobel prize in 2009 uh with this so it depends on your background if you come from education you can try to find out buddhist education theory um i think there are some people who compare uh, buddhist education philosophy and uh, benedictine monks this is in one of the denomination in the catholic um catholicism uh, the benedictines and maybe some sri lankan professor they have written something about buddhist education as well i is a professor i think rana singh or which is singh has something from colombo university i hope i answer your question um as a microphone here um, Hello. Let me introduce again because I already asked you to question yesterday. So I'm interested in I'm Jotika from Yangon Buddhist University. I'm and actually I'm interested in writing the paper but I I want to you skip my question. I want to ask you the previous concept the buddhism now the theory of the buddhism is already fixed already all the facts are fixed no edit and no subject so when we make the research paper the what perspective we have to approach to this battle is this your 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 saying that um this is um uh, uh, i can i can easily <clears throat> explain my point here um the, the buddhist teaching may be fixed fixed in the sense okay it's, uh, he taught for 45 years and he stopped no more in that sense okay it's fixed when we write a, a dissertation or a thesis we are not trying to add anything to the buddhist knowledge we are only trying to understand the buddha and use our understanding to contribute to human knowledge not to the buddha's knowledge we are not going to do anything with the buddha's knowledge but the buddha's knowledge is so deep so high so profound as a human being as ordinary human being an enlightened people uh sometimes we don't understand it we understand it uh i mean we we interpret that very wrong wrongly and we bear the consequences of it for example until not long ago um many many learned theologians in myanmar would say english is dritanakata 
animal science, something that monks like you and me shouldn't learn. Okay? And people will quote the Buddha. <laughs> they will quote the Buddha. Dhrichana Vija is in the Bhikkhuni, Padimokha. It's a tiny. And people interpret it in the way they like. I, I don't think English people have ever met the Buddha. <laughs> so the Buddha wouldn't have any being against them. And in the first place, the Buddha was enlightened. Uh, he has got rid of all the negative emotion. He wouldn't have any uh, bad feeling towards any languages. But we said, okay, in this country, the monks said, no, it's, this is animal science. It's only Mahaganan's hero who dared to write in his body mouth that this is not animal science. But he only wrote that as a footnote. <laughs> okay? He didn't write a book. He should have written a book that would have solved the whole problem. Okay? He only put as a footnote. So it didn't have a, a big impact. It did, but it, it took a long time. It took a long time. So the consequences is that in the development of the Pali Tech Society, in translating uh, the Buddhist scriptures into English, we are not part of it. When Myanmar Sierra, Scholar Sierra became part of it, it's the Abhidhamma. Abhidhamma in other countries they don't use very often. They don't use those texts very often. So again, we are not very you know, influential. We are not um, having any significant role in developing Buddhist thought, Buddhist understanding in the West. Why? Because we don't know English. And when foreigners, when they come here to, to learn meditation, the meditation teacher gives them 10 minutes interview every 3 days. 3 days, 72 hours meditation, only 10 minutes with the teacher. 10 minutes with an interpreter. Interpreter. So interpreter takes 5 minutes, the teacher 5 minutes. You can see the consequences that we go through. That is why I only have you know, all the English books here to show you um, they are all made in <laughs> they, they are made outside outside Burma they are made in, made in somewhere um, this book The Mind Illuminated Papadara Meta Meta said A Complete Meditation Guide Integrating Buddhist wisdom and brain science. Yesterday somebody asked me about neurology. Brain science. It's a big book. Monk from Myanmar will take many, many more decades to write this kind of book. This is the body and mind code. Again, this is about Nama and Rupa, how they are related. Pure science, um, chemistry, Physics, biology, they don't speak about mind. They don't have any teaching related to the mind, related to consciousness. So this is of a Buddhist influence. Okay. But here, um, we, as a human being, our knowledge is limited. So we have to try to improve this, advance this. This is the reason we should do PhD, even in Buddhism. Okay, where we should start, what we should do. Doing a PhD means, okay, working with a problem, to solve a problem. You have to find out which problem you are interested. Are you interested in textual problem? Problem with text. 
a problem with meditation, meditation technique. Because um, some people say if you only sit for one hour, you know, you are not really experiencing anything. You have to sit two hours. I say two hours is not enough. You have to be three hours. Have to be three hours? No, it has to be eight hours, ten hours. Now somebody needs to pick this issue and solve this problem. If this person can solve this, can present this problem and and propose some some answers, some remedies, then we can give a PhD to this. Um, any problem, maybe, maybe, okay, uh, maybe we have about only one fifth of maybe, maybe, maybe um, one fourth, maybe a quarter of this audience is is the ladies. Why so so few of them? And and if someone is is willing to take up this issue and and trying to understand the problem and present the finding and also some some uh, hypothesis which is the answer then then this writing deserves a PhD as well so it's about solving human problem. It's, the Buddha has no problem. We are not trying to solve the Buddha's problem. He has no problem. We are trying to solve human's problem. This uh, time, Thank you, Sarah for giving me a chance to listen to your talks and for giving me a chance to ask some questions. So may I know, uh, based on your experience and knowledge, so be uh, doing a PhD in your case. I have read your PhD thesis four years ago. So did you choose the name of a topic by yourself also? The topic was chosen by your professor. This is a one question because choosing a topic is a very important. For my case, it's the most the most difficult test for me. Uh, this is one case, and the other case, uh, um, having um, enough the language skills in terms of academic, also equally same times having. Um, proper and enough information, knowledge on the thing and, and a good new right. So do you think which is more important? Sometimes both are not balanced and equal. So in your case, what do you find it more difficult? Um, knowledge and language. Non language, yes. Then the, the last question is uh, I compare and I have read and compare these six done in the India and in the Sri Lanka and Thailand and in Myanmar. And these six somewhere right in Myanmar is somewhat different with the compared compared with the thesis in India and Sri Lanka. Even the topic is based on the Buddhism. I don't know why.
I start from the bottom. General knowledge and then question by others. Um, I'm, I'm explaining BA, MA and PhD. When you do BA, you have to have general knowledge of the subject. If you do Buddhism, you have to learn, uh, you have to have uh, general knowledge of, of Buddhism. General knowledge. And uh, the questions are set by others, by your teachers. By your teachers. And the second level, mastering some issues deeply. That's master level. When you do master, um, the paper, the subject, the scope become narrow. But deeper, you have to master one issue. You, you have to, maybe, you can master um, we, the, you can master Vinaya, you can master um, a certain text, you can master a certain, uh, maybe Abhidhamma, like that. Uh, question, questions are by yourself and by others. By the teacher and also by yourself. By yourself means, okay, you choose your own, to- the topic of your dissertation. By other means, okay, the teacher gives you the topic for your essays. By yourself means you do independent essay. This kind of project, your, your own project, like that. So you become more independent. You use more set thinking. Today, some university they move this to this as well. Maybe about twenty uh, percent of BA. Okay, you have to have uh, dissertation. Uh, you have to have dissertation. Not only that you have to write essays uh, with the question provided by your teacher, maybe you, you learn how to come up with your own question, maybe once or twice, something like that. And when you go to master level, the master's level, you know, this uh, practice becomes more intense. You have to, write, to rely on yourself more. So the, uh, the length of dissertation is longer and you have to coordinate more information. You have to read more. And the topic has to go, has to deal with uh, the issue deeply, deep, a lot deeper than BA. But both of them, both of them, in many cases, um, BA and MA or BAC and MAC, they still deal with uh, all knowledge, knowledge by other people. Books in these, uh, knowledge in these books is all, all knowledge. Why? Because these people, they have written. They have written. So when you read it, when you get this knowledge, this knowledge may be new to you, but in terms of scholarship, it's all knowledge. All knowledge. Uh, students go to um, university, they learn about physics, they learn about um, biology, they get uh, a BSc, they get um, BE, they add MB, get MBBS, like that. Uh, for a bachelor degree, this, this is only old knowledge. They learn how to do what other people already know. There's no new knowledge. Uh, require of them. They don't have to prove anything new. But when you do PhD, it's one issue study. One issue. You have to study only one issue, one problem. One issue, one problem. Okay. Um, in my case, in, when I did my PhD, I, uh, I have to choose my own topic. And I have to write a synopsis uh, describing this problem. I is, uh, said that in Myanmar and in Thailand, in Sri Lanka, first I uh, covered three countries. In the three countries, there is no history of uh, monks' education, monastic education. 
there's no proper history. Uh, meaning, there's no self appraisal, there's no self examination in terms of education for the last maybe three, three to to four hundred years. We don't have this. When we don't have this, um, we don't have um, good reference to ourselves. How? Um, our teachers in a hundred years time, in two hundred years time, how, what kind of, what kind of uh, geopolitical situation, what kind of economic situation they encounter, and what kind of education policy they had to adapt. We don't have that kind of thing. We don't have that kind of document, that kind of uh, a proper written work. So I identify a problem, and the university accepted that this problem is significant, is important, and they accepted me as a PhD student. So when you do your PhD, this is, I'm talking about English style, okay, the, the British education. You have to set your own question. You have to answer by yourself to the satisfaction of two examiners. If those two examiners think your question is significant, is the question that brings new knowledge. Bring new knowledge. Because the question is very important. The question is that has to bring new knowledge, not just the answer. In Oxford we said, uh, a good education is not about giving the right answer. But it's about asking the right question. So, we have to learn how to ask the right question. If we ask the right question, that question becomes the title of our PhD thesis. In order to, write, uh, to ask this question, you know, so we have to study, we have to read these books. Okay, this thesis has solved this one problem, this thesis has solved another problem, this another problem. What are the other problems that these diseases have not touched upon? And you find that one, you choose one of them, and you go for it. You get PhD. <laughs> so, what is important is new knowledge. We have to bring new knowledge to the field, to 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 the um, to um, human scholarship, to scholarship. We have to bring new knowledge. If we bring new knowledge, then this is. A PhD thesis. Sometimes I examine PhD theses. They only read other books. They compare and they write. It's all um, old knowledge. There's no new knowledge. There's there's nothing new that they they are contributing. So strictly speaking, you cannot grant a PhD to that kind of writing. But here, we have pressure to give. <laughs> we are under pressure to give, so sometimes we give. <laughs> so I just... Um, you know, I have done a lot of soul searching Regarding this, uh, the students, they work hard, but they don't get a proper guidance. So, at the end of maybe four years, five years, um, they have done their best. For me to, to read this in a few days' time and to say, no, <laughs> this is very hard to the student. It's not fair to the student because it's not only the student's fault. It's also the university's fault. It's not only the university's shortcoming, but also the country's shortcoming. So when we look at that, in, it's, it's, we look at uh, the, the problem in that, in that way, um, we have a certain perspective. So what I usually do is uh, I ask them to, well, I would teach them how to improve their disease. This one, 
Okay, you read this kind of book, uh, this kind of right at the reading that they, that we do. Some PhD students they don't know how to read like this. They cannot summarize. Um, okay, now you you have uh, read uh, 16 paragraphs. Uh, if you know how to sum up this, uh, maybe in one paragraph, maybe in um, in um, in about ten lines, then you are quite close to a PhD. Because uh, uh, a literature review is part of part of the PhD exercise, part of a research. Um, uh, training, part, part of that. It's about objective uh, study, objective reading, objective conclusion that we have to have. One last question, if anyone's okay over there. นิงลาบาพุ่มโมพระตะพี่ตัวอาชินติตาธรรมะบาเปียพุ่มโมตะพี่ตัวจีวาตุยะมาติติตาบะโลติละสรอติพี่ตัวจีไลมิรออะลุ
A philosophical denial of self is just a view, a theory, which may be agree with or not. Shinya Tone is a guy, another two says, or a Tibiro Alan. Um, Tidema, TCI Tone Hanaga. Theory love by she did. Tibiro and Sai Papiro all Tazi, Tiha Sabido. มาทาไล่ได้เต็ปเป็นจองตาดิที่โลกแท้สวยตากราฟิตี้โลกขอได้เอ่อถ้าไม่ที่จองตากระคามะเลตวิมะโลกหูเลตวิโลกโพธิ
ไอ้ดอกสิทธิ์ตะบิโรเตียหอนิจหานะสวยเนาะอิโมชั่นนี่ผิดบ่ล่ะเนี่ยผิดบ่ล่ะเนี่ยไอ้อิโมชั่นก
ตัวเนี่ยอนัตตาวิจิเตสุยินทิปิโรโรเปญญาวันตะจีมาสุโรทุกขะโกอนัตตะเมสีเนี่ยตะจีอะเมอเนสสาอนัตตะเมสีตะ